for it, Alta. Please tell me how F5 is too light for me. What about F6.5? F, F, F. F. <laughs> F. <laughs> oh, someone's coming. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. I feel like the ultimate before at the moment, I am trying to wake up. I am trying to game plan how I'm gonna do the hair because I feel like this is very throwback YouTube where nothing is done. Like really, I mean, this is just real life. So today we are going to get glam with a brand new foundation that I was not expecting to be as excited about, but I am. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the In Real Life IRL filter. I have the shade F5. It is a breathable soft matte longwear foundation, comes in a glass jar, is oil free, has a pump, hits all those high notes that I like for the actual packaging. And then it is long wear. So I am curious, I feel like this is going to be a good one. I just have like that instinct. I was drawn to it while I was in Ulta and I saw that this was brand new. So I thought, let's do a full day wear test, a little day in the life plus plus this guy right here. So let's just get dived on in. First, let's start out with the Power Grip Primer. I don't know why that is so hard for me to say, it just is. I showed you guys this in my e.l.f. Game Up video. I will link that below. Really like smash hit cheap makeup in that video and a lot of it I am really excited about. So go give that one a watch if you like some good e.l.f makeup. I am going to do just a tiny little bit of this. I know you guys are so sick of this, right? Are we so sick of the tart? Do I even need to show me putting this right in this area? I don't know. We're going to see if this foundation can cover up my cupping accident. You know how I was like, oh, it'll get better in a day. Like it has only gotten worse. Right here is where it happened. I squeezed a little too hard and basically gave myself a face hickey. So that's kind of what cupping is. I do really like these. You know, you can do like the, right? Like, let me not give myself another bruise. But when you move quickly, it really does just amp up the blood flow. I think they're cool tools, but man, if you go a little too hard or you're not paying attention, this can happen. So hopefully we get it covered up and have a joyful, good foundation day. Okay, so let's open this sucker on up. 16 hour wear, that's what it claims. Makeup revolution, we will see about that, okay? We will see if you are a 16 hour wear foundation. I think I wanna apply this with a beauty puff. I know, I know. You can find one of these elsewhere, but they work for foundation so beautiful so 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 beautifully so let's go in half the face with a puff and then maybe half the face with a sponge just to see Ooh, that ooh! oh my gosh why stop this right now stop it i tested this in the store this is f5 it matched the back of my hand perfectly this is too light for me what in that what in the F5? What? Can we make it work? I don't know. Uh, it's going on really nice, I will say that. And you know who was right? James. He's like, get two. And I'm like, no. When you review products, like I will say, sometimes I'll get two or three shades. I will do that, you know, when I do a lipstick review, I get a bunch of shades and it adds up really quickly. And sometimes I'm like, I just don't need more bottles of foundation around. I'm not always sold on doing a video review. Oh, I should have gotten two shades. Maybe this will oxidize. Maybe. Will this be the one day where I'm like, oxidize, and it goes down two shades in 15 minutes, and I'm like, yes, slam dunk, knew it. Maybe it kind of actually already is oxidizing a little bit. All right, we're gonna turn this into a video where it's, hey, you're wearing the wrong foundation. Let me show you how to fix that with cream products. Uh, a little bronzer and some concealer can go a long way to helping you make your unmatched foundation 
match. Or you can just buy the correct shade in the first place. This is not that bad. Is it that bad? It's kind of bad. Dirt, what? <sighs> okay, I'm already not having a great day. Sometimes I come on here and I just want to be like really positive and I want to share good things with you. And the reality is I cried in the shower this morning. I'm on my period TMI and I'm emotional about not having kids. And then I was crying because I was crying because I wanted to film and I don't like crying before I film. And now my foundation doesn't match and I just feel like, eh, and I'm just like, you know what? Do I want to keep filming right now? Yeah, whatever. Let's just like, let's like dig our heels in and just go with it. But I am having a day. We're going to go on the other side of my face now. Hopefully brighten up my attitude um, with a brush. Do you know what did it for me though? I'll tell you guys. I did not sleep last night and we're in the new house obviously. Oh, wow. This does oxidize quite a bit. Do you see how like white this is and how warmed up this side is? Like, hold on, like side note, let me interrupt my own storytelling. Um, okay. There were coyotes howling last night and then Puka was getting scared and he started howling and James sleeps through everything. Okay. He's snoring. He is in bliss He's just slumbering. There's like nothing getting to him at all. I'm like, every time I kind of drift into sleep, I hear howling, howling, and then the wind kicked up, which also sounded like howling. And I'm just like, I can't, like, I don't, I don't like this. I can't sleep. It's kind of freaking me out for some reason. And then whenever I can't sleep, do you know what I think about? every mistake I have ever made in my life, okay? Like literally I had one of those nights and I'm like, oh please, let's not revisit trauma right now. Like let's like work through it um, and let's like do it and like say my prayers. And I just had one of those nights where it was literally like emotional, like racquetball where it's just like, no, no, like no, no. Cause those voices will come in and they just want to tug at you to like, take you down five notches and make you think about all these terrible things. And so this morning I have really just had to be gentle with myself and take it slow and not get crazy in my head about the idea of what I think a perfect life is. And it's just been, it's been tough. You know, this, this new chapter has been great, but there's also a lot that I'm facing as far as my life being so different than what I had originally planned or envisioned. And I have faith that like I'm, I'm walking into a new season and there will be many blessings. There'll be good things here, but man, I still occasionally have those nights where I'm just like, why, why, you know? And, um, I guess there's no big, like, moral to the story or anything just i think we all go through that and sometimes when you share that you have those moments and someone else can feel less alone then you feel less alone and that helps but also just the idea to keep going right like keep going move through it and if you have a bumpy night if you have a bumpy day um that's okay that happens just like move through it keep going eventually you'll get to that place that you don't think you're gonna get to because if you're anything like me, and I have battled every depression, anxiety, all of that, like get off my ground, like out. I don't deal with you anymore. Like I don't even want to come into agreement with any of that, but dealing with that kind of tiptoeing back into your life, I have always felt that when I have a bad day, for some reason, that that is like my new state of existence. And this is how I will feel forever. And that's just never the case ever. And sometimes you just have to get through a crappy day, sit down, put on the makeup, play a great song. Sometimes the fake it till you make it, just like laughing, smiling, watching something cute um, on TV, IG, whatever, call a friend. Those things can help to kind of like get you out of that deep water that you think you're stuck in because you're never stuck there. Like you're just not. Even if like the dark cloud days like last, more than just a day or just a week, things are constantly changing. So you can at least count on that. Did I just give life lessons looking like a ghost? <laughs> I think I did. Um, okay, so I'm very happy with the coverage of this foundation. I'm so 
disappointed in the shade that I had picked out. And like even my mouth, like boo, like I just I don't think that I look that great. Yes. Dang it. Will I upload this video? Will I not? Well, man, I need to hop over to Ulta and get a different shade. And also, what business does this have been the fifth shade down? I'm so confused right now. Also, can someone please explain to me the trend of people putting their bronzer basically underneath their eyes? Why? Like, why? Um, I get the blush thing, but like, it is my new pet peeve. When I see on Instagram or wherever, people literally dunking in and going like here, like on top of their cheekbone. I'm so confused. So let's just try to bronzy up the face for when we go to Ulta, okay? To get, cause we're gonna go to Ulta and we're gonna get different shades. This is just not my day. This will make me happy. I just, I have a feeling. I just need some bright pink lips and then everything will be okay. Because this will distract everyone from this very weird look. It's not what I expected it to be. Great. I hate this. <laughs> um, this is the Celestial Lust. I thought it was a gloss. It's an ultra. Are you kidding me right now? No, I did not just do that. Well, to make this already interesting look more interesting, I just put a cream eyeshadow on my lips. Oops, I just chipped a nail. Yo, this is, this looks terrible. I need to do something about the under eyes real quick. Feel kind of dumb that I just put a cream shadow on my lips, but also maybe it works. I don't know. Let me get the rest of the face done and we will regroup and take a little field trip to Ulta. I do like the texture. I like how quickly it blended out. I like the high coverage, full coverage. This is just definitely uh, too light for me, but that was my mistake. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so... I wish that this was like stage performance. I now just put blush on my lips. Oh, I, I cannot even with myself right now. I legitimately thought this was a lip balm and I'm like, you know what? We're gonna just correct this mistake and it's gonna be so just like juicy and glimmery. And now I legit just put like a matte weird, this is interesting, soft beauty blush. Smells fruity on my lips. Send help, she did not sleep last night. We made it to a place where I feel acceptable 
to be out with makeup on in public. So my plan right now is to head on over to Ulta because my curiosity cannot be contained. I wanna find out about this shade range. I'm a little bit confused still because it went on so pale. Yes, I got it to a place where it's okay and looks pretty good, all things considered, with a lot of bronzer and a lot of just, you know, just getting in with a good attitude and adding different elements to the face. But I wanna see if I can find a better match all things said, I have to say immediate thoughts. This is a nice product. This is full coverage. It feels nice on the skin. It's a little bit dry for my skin type, but I like to review for all skin types. So if you have oilier skin and you want that true, more mattifying finish, this is really great for us who want a little more dewiness. You can always counterbalance that with just like a drop of oil. Some glycerin-based setting mist also helps you out if you want that full coverage, long wear, more mattified feeling, which I do have to say, I like that sometimes. It feels also like it's minimizing my pores a little bit. I like that. Um, is it showing my creases? Yes, it is more on that dry side. So I will throw that out there, but let's go on a little field trip, see how this wears the rest of the day, and then bring the final verdict to the end of the video. Also, I did change up my gloss. I am now wearing Darling by Scott Barnes. This is so pretty. I really, really love that I had accident after accident to reach me trying this one out. I think it's so beautiful. And if you ever have like crunchy chapped lips from maybe trying on one too many lipsticks, these glosses are great just to plush everything up. So everything's said and done. I'm pretty happy with my look. I'm not happy with my frizzy hair. Oh my gosh, Texas, Texas, the humidity and heat. You like put muscle into it and you think you're doing a good job. You look in the mirror like five minutes later, you're a fuzzball. So maybe I need to get some like anti-frizz hairspray or something at Ulta, but let's just go on a shopping trip real quick and pick it up from there. We're at Ulta. Okay. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Do they have it? Please tell me how F5 is too light for me. Is there a tester? Tester. Try me. They stole all the testers. Oh look, there's a chart. Let's see here. Ulta lighting is playing me so hard right now. I don't feel beautiful in this store. I'm wearing the wrong shade of foundation in real life. <laughs> and my camera work is awful. I was just cutting off half your face. <laughs> okay, so get right up here. So F5, I don't understand this shade range. Like, how is that F10.5? He's light skinned. What? Okay, this is what we're doing. F7, F8, and F8.5. What about F6.5? <laughs> F, F, F. <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks too light. No, you guys, oh, someone's coming. Nothing to see here. I'm doing a really bad job being like low profile in this Ulta. I'm making so much noise. And now I decided that maybe we'd have like a, try to do a thumbnail fashion moment inside of Ulta. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how people but, do this. Honey. This video is already gone live. We can't add this to it. Oh yeah, we're in front of health. Let's go to make a revolution. This is a thumbnail? Yes. Okay. I, um. <laughs> um, my lips are crunchy. And this has mango butter and hyaluronic acid, and it's called Rehab for your lips. I'm getting this. We'll try this too. Yay! Let's go home to redo my makeup. Woo! I got more than just foundation. Oops. How did that happen? <laughs> How? 
Jeez. it's like a gateway drug in there. It's like starts with foundation, and then I need makeup wipes, and then I needed hair frizz stuff. And you know what? I could use some rollers, but maybe the weird satin overnight ones too. So bases covered. Let's go haul it. There is a bird taking a dump on the top of my car right now. Are you joking me, sir? Ah! Come back here. Clean up your mess. Clean up your mess. Let's hear it for some smudged liner and some melted down makeup. And for me out and about in Ulta in probably the most hideous lighting. Well, we're also potentially in hideous lighting right now as the sun is literally going down. I'm watching it. Uh, it is end of the day and I have had this makeup on enough. I feel, I feel like I did a good wear test because everything is starting to melt off. It is sweaty hot outside. It's a little humid here and things definitely moved around. I actually really like this foundation for what it is. I think it's a good one. It's $13 and I did get those other shades and some other things. I'm so excited to try this. Satin pillow roller. We got some collagen hydro under eye patches. I have thermal rollers. <laughs> Yay. Um, some, I you don't need charcoal scrubby thingies, some socks, makeup removing wipes. Uh, I definitely needed those. Ooh, I found these. This is the signature wispy effect from Kiss. Love a good drugstore wispy lash. Mm, I wanted to put this on like ASAP, the Mango Hyaluronic Acid Lip Rehab from Makeup Revolution. Ooh, that is oily. Oh my gosh, it smells like alcohol. Why does that smell that way? Oh my gosh, like shots, like, ugh, like what? Is that supposed to, it smells like Salon Selective's shampoo, if it were a martini. Why does that smell that way? That is bizarre. Oh, I did get some defrizzer for my hair from IGK. This is the good behavior. Okay, we are gonna go in and just let's watch it really quickly. The weird thing with this product, I don't know if it's the frosting on the glass or what, but they all look like the same color. You literally have no clue what you're getting. They look identical. And of course, all the testers were gone, so yikes. Okay, so we have F6. I'm gonna kind of go on top of what I'm wearing because why not? So we can just get a good feel. How, it, what in the heck? Honestly, F6.5, come on. That is lighter. Do you see how confusing this is? What is even happening? I feel like this is worth the mission because this is a good, good foundation for $13. Easy to blend, full coverage, long wearing. Yes, it settles a little bit in your lines. And if you have drier skin, you might not love this. It is a matte formula, but there's a lot to enjoy. There's a lot to enjoy with it. Okay, let's go into F7. That looks better. Yes, that is more what I am talking about, right? Okay, then we have, let's just keep going because I have them and we have F8.5. Interesting. I just, it's confusing. It's just a little, I get they have different undertones, but it's just, it's, a, it's an interesting shade range. All right, so we have F6, F6.5, F7, ooh, I skipped right to F8.5, and now we have F8, so I kind of did them out of order. I will put all of them on my arm and do a good close-up for you guys. Honestly, which one am I? Okay, now I'm so curious that I'm like, okay, you've got them all open. I'm not going anywhere, so we're doing it. We are doing it because honestly, I kind of feel like the 8.5, it's kind of nice. Oh my gosh, the dogs next door are like going off. Okay, please tell me how that is number 8.5. What? These shades are so strange. All right, here's the deal. 
I'm losing light. I can't really tell exactly how this is going. I'm gonna start fresh in the morning barefaced and put this on again. Let's hop to an insert of me with this makeup on in the correct shade and I will determine the correct shade when I actually can see proper sunlight. So let's take a look into the future right now and let's enjoy what this foundation looks like when it is applied in the right shade with the right makeup and I have a feeling that the future looks good, that this is gonna be good. So there we have it. I'm happy I tried this product. I'm happy I was able to take you guys on a little shopping trip to Ulta. I do plan on vlogging the home stuff. I know I didn't really get to the upstairs today because I lost my mind and decided to go shopping instead. And we did grocery shopping and everything. So I'm gonna go make dinner, call it a day. But if you want to see a vlog with more home stuff, the closet, the upstairs, let me know that you guys still are enjoying that. And otherwise, go and have a good one. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, whatever you are doing. And I will see you again very soon for more makeup exploration. I love you all so much. Go have a good one. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.